Hi guys, how's it going? We are uh, actually our team name. Team name is Hi AF, but we created a uh, app called Live Launch, and you guys can introduce yourselves really quick. Hey, I'm Dan. Hi, I'm Stephen. And I'm Nate. And I'm Garrett. <laughs> and what our challenge was was to actually create, recreate the experience of being in a launch, right? A rocket launch, um, and amplify that experience. But we couldn't really just sort of stop there. We really, really, really wanted to think a lot bigger. Um, and we really think that like the perfect platform to actually start communicating to a whole new audience. Um, and that's what we want to do. Because we all know in this room, we all love NASA, but we all know that there's a lot at stake with NASA, especially as the generations to come. So we wanted to inspire a whole new generation so we decided to move our app to the platform of Snapchat, <laughs> okay? Specifically, Snapchat Stories. Now, these curated stories that you can see here, um, you know, you can imagine that one of these actually might be NASA, for example. And we couldn't help but ignore, uh, not ignore, the, uh, the similarities between maybe a rocket launch and a story that you could actually tell in a very curated uh, way. So. Yeah, I'm speeding it up, you guys. Okay, watch this. So what we did was we actually created a, a demo app that you can see here where we could actually recreate what it was like to have a launch. Now, I'm not going to talk for five minutes. You have to sped up time here. Um, but this would actually be something that we could replay for people or play, in, in this case, in real time. So what you can do is you see very important updates about the launch itself. Um, you can see a huge countdown clock if you were to pull up this story in Snapchat, or you can swipe up, and in this case, we're actually using WebGL data um, of this amazing rocket that, that we acquired, um, and a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of data actually from NASA um, from the sense of all, all the things that are actually happening from the t anything from T minus 25 all the way down to, you know, t t to liftoff, basically. So what's happening is we're actually getting real-time events, um, and it's really cool because you can swipe around, you can move, you can actually expand, you can explore, um, and these new events, whoa, uh -oh. yeah, this is why you go wireless, right? Um, these new, you actually can go on your phone right now, high, uh, high AF dot space, right? Um, but you can actually swipe through, and, You guys want to see the launch? <laughs> no? <laughs> All right, here we go, full screen. Okay, so you can actually advance through to future events that have happened that we've obviously all missed. <laughs> here as well, right? Um, and to the point now where we have a minute and 37 33 seconds left, uh, clock is ticking. A lot of this too that actually uh, Nate can demo right here. We even have a version where you can tap the eye, look around in 360 degree video. Um, ideally this would be a video form. Um, and we, the clock is ticking. I don't know if you guys are gonna boot me off stage. Uh, but <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there soon. But the important thing too is that you can also swipe back, right? And what we wanna do is uh, have the ability to tap onto certain modules that you're referencing, explode those things, explore those things, um, actually leave the app experience and come back. That's the most important thing about all of this is the fact that it's digestible content, it's quick, it's immediate, it's in the palm of our hands. We have three, two, one, and this is our lunch. All right. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> so as you know, it's a lot of work to actually to make a prototype. So thank you so much for being with us. Awesome. Thanks. That was it. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So, <laughs> <laughs> Snapchat filter, sorry. <laughs> this prototype is just from one um, mission. Do you, are you planning on doing it for a lot of different, like, are, is there data, first of all? That's that? the problem. There is barely any data. It's, oh. it, from, from our perspective, it's very decentralized. Okay. Um, so that was part of our challenge, was actually aggregating all of this and, like, putting into a system that we can understand and something that humans can actually understand, which is also very important. I was just going to make a plug. So national academies are actually meeting to decide kind of like what the next steps NASA's are going to take. So they have a request for information out uh, for Earth Sciences particularly. I don't know about this one. But um, if you have any requests, like what kind of missions you want NASA to work on or what kind of data you'd like to see, um, go to national academies and there's a request for information, RFI. Like, just look for that. All right, sorry. Just piggybacking on that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, also, if I didn't learn it, I don't think I would ever be invited to ask you again. <laughs>